Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel and it's Davy White, your designer. In this video, I will be showing you how to create this interactive, it's actually called an interactive component, but this prototype in, um, in Figma using interactive components. And in today's video, we won't be doing the first one, but let me know in the comment section if you would want me to create uh, or create a video for the first one. But this is what we'll be focusing on today. And this is the Stripe Sections website, which I redesigned. And you can see how, how um, cool the prototype uh, makes the website look. All right. So, and this is one of the uh, very importance of using prototypes so we're going to start with this frame so that is the um, the design that you would create first that is the default design which we, we would use for the other uh aspect of the design so duplicate it and then what i'm going to be doing now is telling figma or telling the prototype how i want this to actually uh prototype so i'll start by moving the name um upward and that is because I want it when the interaction is um, triggered, I want the name to flow from the top downwards. And so that is why I'm going to be moving the name upwards. This is basically what it is. And what we actually do with interactive components is by thinking what are the different states. So every design has a state just like the button. So you are going to design the different states. So if you want it to have like a hover state, um, if you want a particular element of your design to be triggered by a hover state, you're going to design the first state. So the first state will become the default state and that is what I'm currently doing. So I'll move the name upward because I want it to flow from the top downwards. We're going to actually resize the second frame and you see how that works. I'm going to take the first um circle that i put inside and created like the elements of the blur that you can see the lighting and all of that i'm going to take that downwards i'll use the navigation key towards that end to move it away from the frame i'll do the same for the top one move it away i'll just grab my mouse now and just move it instead of using the navigation because that will take a lot of time so just move it with the navigation key and i've moved it away from the frame now that is what we want to achieve and then i would select the frame and then resize it so i'll resize it in the way the users should see it first so this is what the users will see first and then thereby by scrolling downwards they will be able to um, see the second state now select both of them you can either hover on them this way or you can select the frame at the top just click on the frames at the top and then go up there click the drop down and choose the component set so by the time you click on that it puts it in a component set you can see the purple lines um, going around it so that's that's actually what we're aiming for we have our components now so I'll draw a frame and this frame is where the interaction is going to work so I'll extend the frame a bit because I want to give it like um, a rectangular shape to take the form of a website now I'll just go to prototype and then select the default state now this is why i'm going why i'm selecting the default state i'm going to be telling figma what to do with this prototype so it's either would this when the first one is click would it show the second one or when you hover on it what should be the interaction so by the time i decide what interaction i want i'll select the first one draw the node to the second one and then you can now once you've decided if it's going to be a hover state for this one i'm going to be using y hovering so and that's what i used in the design and that's the action so what animation do you want you can see the instant doesn't give you that kind of feel that you want so i'm going to go with smart animate it gives me some kind of on generic um, flow and then it's going to be on ease out and then 300 millisecond and that's what we actually want all right so ensure you follow through with these calculations because it's going to give you a good result so you can always refine it to fit whatever you want to do it can either be in 300 or more it's not a fixed number all right so just test it within yourself and see what actually would work for your design now grab this i would right click i would hold alt and move it out and that's what i did and then i can now um 
or you can go to assets actually so you, i'm dragging this downward so that you can see how you can drag it because don't drag it without holding alt you would remove it from the position where it is or click on assets and you see it there with the title imagery and then we can move it into our design now we've not given them names so both of them are, are actually carrying the name default all right i'm going to select the second one and type hover because that is what i the action i want it to take so put it in the frame and then select both of them and i'll put it on auto layout i'm putting it on auto layout because i want once you hover on one it should um it should not displace the rest it, it's more like if you hover on one it's going to just cover the rest of the elements of the images behind it so that's not the kind of interaction we're going for we're going for an interaction that would spread together and responsively so select one of it and then just duplicate it you can see that i changed it from the default from the hover state to the default state and that's why using components for your designs is very good now we're done all right this is it now it's time for us to play what we've actually prototyped and see how it works so click the play this is not giving us the result we want yet because there was an existing frame and it's taking time to load the second one is supposed to show us the information and then you see how it flows in so i'm going to actually close this and then let's do that again so play your prototype right select the frame at the top and then we can now uh play the prototype so i wanted to show the first one and that's why i'm hovering on it to let you know that yeah you can actually have that show clearly you, that was just a network glitch or something all right so it's still loading and you can see it now it's live so all you need to do is just hover on them and show that interesting uh interaction that you've created with the design and trust me anyone will be willing to work with you by seeing you flex your muscles this way and you can see how it transitions how the text transitions into the frame you can just see how cool it looks and that's it guys um honestly interaction is amazing it makes your designs uh it brings more life to your static designs all right and that is what uh stripe sections have been able to do and yes guys uh, I would see you in the next lesson, not lesson. I've been creating a course and I've been using lessons too much. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next video.